No? You're actually kind of cute. You know, you you guys get a bad rap, you know? They're not that scary. Look at them. Okay. Howdy, partners. It's your buddy John here. Where's the other one? Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Right, we're, we're still wor steer. Still working on our Halloween section of the park. Last time we added in little Virginia possums. Look at them. It's adorable. Is anybody coming into here? All right, hold on. I think I need to actually set up a work zone. I think I'm going to make a whole new area for this. So let's go ahead. Uh, go over to Zoo. And staff work zones. We're going to make uh, North America. And this will be... In a Halloween. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We'll do that. And we need to hire some people. Oh, I, I, I turned down... Um, I turned up aging and rate of birth for animals because it was getting crazy. So... That should slow things down a little bit, and I won't have to worry as much about, um... What am I doing? Oh, caretaker. About, um... Checking in on the exhibit animals, because, you know, they, they, they were, like, breeding super fast for a while. And that shouldn't be an issue now. I don't need this. Get that off the screen. Okay. Uh, hit play. Before we get into this, so I, I want to check to make sure one last time. I don't need to. So let's assign you to. In a Halloween. In a Halloween. In a Halloween. In a Halloween. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, I was wanting to check on a few things. I know we had a cub in here. I want to make sure he hasn't aged up to the point where I need to move him out. What? Why are you boxed? Unbox all animals. Why, why are they boxed?
Okay. All right. All right. That took way, way too long. <laughs> um, there's issues all over the park, and I got to the point where I was just wanting to, like, you know, focus on building, because that's the thing I love about this game and, and the Planet Z uh, Coaster series. And, uh, yeah, I, I got distracted with building, and I forgot to take care of the animals. So, whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> Anyway, let's um, get into the purpose of this episode today. We are going to be building an exhibit for skunks and raccoons. It's going to be a dual exhibit. It's going to go right across right here. So, similar layout to what the opossums have. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get this figured out. So, barriers. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I just I just had to raise it up a little bit. Can you escape? No. Okay. So so everybody's happy. We we've, we've got this one done. All right. I might, I might put in. You know what? We need, it's part of the Halloween area. We need pumpkins. So pumpkins. Where is that under? Is it under construction? What's the under construction? What it? Oh, it is under construction. Oh.
we go. So everybody should still be good. Take a look. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh. You know what? That, that, that deserves a screenshot for the thumbnail. Wait, let's see where he's going first. All right, you gonna climb up onto one of those branches? Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> well, we have a problem. <laughs> Don't fall in, okay. All right, so there's a point where they can escape. Why wasn't it telling me about that? Wait, hold on. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Why didn't it tell me that you could escape there? Hold on. It's not showing up as... So, if they can escape there, chances are they can escape pretty much anywhere. So what I need to do is take that, move it away, scooch this one this way, And then grab this one. Can, can I climb that one? It doesn't look like I can climb this one. All right. Does that fix the problem? Now I just need to figure out where the other one is. Animals. All right, you're both back in here, good, okay. All right. You can go play with your little pumpkin ball. Go, go, do it, do it, do it. I'm just going for the tennis ball. Okay, well. That, that took a little bit more work than I thought it would. Exhibit, projection, squid, wait, no, I need exhibit. No, not exhibit. What am I doing? Habitat. Oh, that's lost. Okay. Raccoon. Skunk. Okay. Educational speaker. We'll put an educational speaker here. One here. 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 Okay. That should be enough space. A raccoon. Striped skunk. Okay. That should do it. Uh, they do kind of overlap. Hold on. Yeah, we'll put it right above the toilets. <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. All right. Um... I think I need to actually squeeze these into the wall so that way they're not sticking out. And then I want to do some more decorating in here, but I think I will leave that for next week's episode. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, partners. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Much appreciated. It really helps me out. Next week... 
I'm going to do the finishing up touches here on the Halloween section. Uh, I say next week because um, I have mentioned I'm trying to stretch this out through October. You know, because it's the spooky scary season. <laughs> and I have a name planned for this area of the park. It's going to go right up here. I'm going to do some final decorations, some final touch-ups. And then we will be done. And shortly after we finish this, we will be completed with a North American section very soon. There's only one exhibit left to go, and it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a dual animal exhibit. Um, but yeah, I think I will call this here. Thanks for watching, partners. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Much appreciated. It really helps me out. Don't forget down below if you're interested in donating to Texas Parks and Wildlife Endangered Species Fund. Link to their donation site is down in the description. Why is nobody coming over here to feed? fill these guys full up? Alright. Did you guys drag the food over here? Oh, that's a water bowl. Oh, my bad. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got distracted again. Link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, partners. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching, partners. And before we end this episode, I just want to say, uh, for the duration of this series, we will be running a slightly different fundraiser for what we usually do. You guys know I usually run a uh, charity fundraiser on my videos. But for this series, I am going to be running a charity donation for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Native Wildlife and Endangered Species Fund, which you guys if you are not familiar with it, it helps to raise money for the protection of threatened species and their environments here in Texas. So if you guys want to help them out, I will have the link to the donation site down in the description. Feel free to check that out if you're able to. And uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching, partners. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.